Good afternoon. This is Monday, August the 19th, start of a brand new week. And this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey. We're coming to you from Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Sandylandcenter.org. And better than that, you can catch us live on the south side of the square any morning from 9 on to 12. Come by and visit for a warm cup of coffee and some good fellowship. The weather has been really quite unusual and it's been very, very pleasant. And that high pressure system that has settled in the Midwest continue to dominate the weather pattern. And this will cause the temperatures to warm across the greater Midwest during the first part of the week. Uh, today's high, for instance, will be in the 80s to the 90s across the region. And the mercury will continue to rise, continue to climb across the plains, so that on Tuesday, um, before a cold front comes in on Wednesday, as that cold front comes in on Wednesday, uh, it will bring showers and thunderstorms across the Midwest and Central Plains. But right now in the square in St. John, it is a cloudy 83 degrees. 83 degrees with the wind speed at 12 miles an hour and about 71% humidity. For the next six hours though, we can expect the the temperature to remain uh, in that holding pattern and it will be sunny. Uh, temperature will hold fast in the 80s to 85 degrees for the high today and tonight we can expect the lows at about 66 degrees with clear skies and a humidity of 77 percent and the wind speed is at 11 miles per hour and coming in from the south southeast. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we can expect the uh, bright and sunny 90 degrees for the high, at nighttime temperatures of 6 to 7, and the winds at 11 miles per hour, and no rain in the forecast. Wednesday, the pattern seems to repeat itself, still highs of 90s, lows in the mid-60s, low winds and no rain. So very, very pleasant weather. And in our community, today, well, it's uh, this morning, the Ministerial Alliance welcomed back the teachers and staff at the school with a rather sumptuous breakfast. And over 60 people were present as everyone is getting ready for the start of the new school year. The school starts on Thursday. And today is the anniversary of Barry and Lynette Bennington. Barry and Lynette Bennington, if you see them, please wish them a happy anniversary. And I know they've just come back from a long summer trip across most of the parks in the country. So they will tell you some of those stories or show you some pictures, I'm sure. So happy birthday, Lynnett and Barry. And also tomorrow, um, Jesse and Gladys Garcia. Wish them all a happy anniversary. Tomorrow, Tuesday, also, uh, from 9 until 11, it's the monthly distribution of the commodities. And this will take place at the Sunflower Center. And do remember, if you, you would be asked to sign a form if you are picking up um, commodities for someone other than yourself. That's just one of the requirements. And all this week, the, over the second chance, they're having um, a basket sale. And you can get a basket, and all you can put into the basket, it will be only $4. So do go by the second chance and support the effort. And all that effort, again, goes to support the Ministerial Alliance. And we
we have some new menus. If you want to attend either the Sunflower Center or the Maxwell Senior Centers, do remember to call and order your meals. And if you are sit and shut in, they have people who are happy to bring you a hot meal. So please call as they um, want to offer you that service if it is needed. And over at the Senior Center in Maxwell today, they'll be serving up some Salisbury steak, a pasta salad, a tossed salad with green peppers and carrots, bread and peaches. Tomorrow uh, happens to be oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, stewed tomatoes, and sherbet. And uh, on Wednesday, it's a pepper steak, rice, oriental vegetables, bread, angel fruit cake with strawberries. I like that. It sounds very tasty. And at the Sunflower Center, today they are serving up a Mexican meatloaf, ranch, mashed potato, seasoned peas, spice apple ring salad, and a coconut layer dessert. Tomorrow it will be a beef pot roast with vegetables, seasoned carrots, mandarin orange delight salad, and a Buster Bar Desert. And on Wednesday, herb baked chicken, cream peas and potatoes, fresh fruit salad, and cookies of choice, and a cookie bar. So don't forget, come out and support either of those two centers. And our thought for the day, walk softly. Speak tenderly, pray fervently, and remember, a thought, a temper is a very valuable position, possession, don't lose it. A temper is a very valuable position, don't lose it. Thank you and have a great day.